You see it, point to it, help everybody out. That was it. be coming midship, midship. There we go, she's got it right here. He's got it right here as well, back here. Coming a little bit behind us over here, everybody. Now there's a statue. When Tom Lee came around that boat and noticed it was sinking, he saved 32 lives, everybody. Now, remember, Tom Lee couldn't swim. The way he saved those people is what that statue is showing you. He was reaching his hand out of the boat, pulling them onto it, and taking them back to a sandbar. A sandbar is a strip of sand that runs underneath the Mississippi, and all these rocks to your left are sitting on top of sandbars, everybody. Now, when he got out of the water, he ran into another problem. These people were cold. They were wet. He had to keep them warm. His great idea to keep them warm was to dig holes into the sandbar and put their bodies into this hole neck deep just to keep them warm, everybody. He also built a fire to attract the attention of a captain coming down the river. Eventually he did, the captain picked them up, took everybody to the city of Memphis, and Tom Lee is now a national hero, guys. The Corps of Engineers, the city of Memphis, want to give Tom Lee something, so they raise money for him and offer him the money. He refuses to take the money. He asks them to do him a favor. Take that money and just fix his house for him. Him and his wife, their house was beat up. He said, could you guys fix our house? Instead of fixing his old house, they built Tom Lee and his wife a brand new house, everybody. They built this park, named after him, and built him a statue in this park. Even gave Tom Lee a permanent job, because the job he was working was not a permanent job. He had been made for about 11 years, a national hero, right here out of Memphis, Tennessee. But he sadly, guys, passed away of cancer. Let's give Tom Lee a big hand today, everybody. Uh -huh. Now we're going back up to the houses. A famous actress used to live up there. Her last name is Shepard. What's her first name? Sibyl. So Sibyl. used to stay up there. She moved in 2011 when her basement flooded due to the Mississippi getting a record high of over 47 feet of water. Flooded Miss Shepard's basement and she moved out. But recently, a famous comedian bought Miss Shepard's house and rebuilt it. After marrying his second wife, she is from Memphis, Tennessee. He bought her that house and rebuilt it for Family Feud's finest, Steve Harvey owns that house now, everybody. Beautiful house, guys. If you want to go over there and find it, you have to walk into the neighborhood. I guarantee, if you walk over there looking for Mr. Harvey's house, when you step in his yard, a big old spotlight gonna hit you and you gonna think you was on Family Feud too now, everybody. <laughs> Coming to the left again, we got this nice, tall, tan building right here. Now this building, everybody says, looks like a hotel because it used to be a Holiday Inn. This tan building right here used to be a Holiday Inn. They stripped out the inside but left the outside structure the same. Today, these are condos over there, everybody. Now, did you guys know that the first Holiday Inn ever to exist started right here in Memphis, Tennessee, down on Summer Avenue? Anybody know that? No. I'm getting a few faces right now. Like, how does this young boy know all this stuff? I'm going to let y'all in on a secret. Don't tell nobody. I only know enough for this 90-minute cruise. Don't ask me no questions later on now, everybody. Now, there's a beautiful church we're about to pass up here in between the trees. I went there one day to add it to my commentary. I figured out two things about this church, guys. The first thing I learned 